Hello everybody. I am Shaishnu. I am 10 years old and studying 5th grade at Jawahar Vidyalaya Primary School. I am basically a big space and science enthusiast. Also, I am an environmental enthusiast. You may have heard on the news that the livelihood of the earth is rapidly decreasing. But as an environmental enthusiast, let me assure you that we can still save the earth. Let me ask you something. Do you agree on vacations? Like everybody needs a vacation? Yes, of course. We need vacations to refresh our minds and re-energize our creativity. And that's exactly what it did a few weeks ago. Me and my family, we had a short trip from Chennai to Coimbatore. I really had a good time. And after returning from Coimbatore to Chennai, at the Chennai Central Railway Station, after getting out of the train coach, I noticed plastic materials everywhere. Plastic bags, plastic cups, plastic water bottles were littered around by people. I thought that the railway staff would clean it in a while, perhaps track for hours gone. And then I exited the railway station. At the exit, I noticed that there was a heavy rain and a heavy flooding. I thought that the flooding was because of the plastic I noticed earlier clogging up the drainage pipes around the railway station and thus causing the rainwater to stay on the ground. And I thought that the heavy rain was because of climate change, which is currently a big problem on the earth right now. With that in mind, I went to the metro station to get to my home in a faster way. After getting inside the, met after getting inside the metro, to the windows of the metro, I saw that there were many tall and high-rise buildings with many colorful lights. It was very beautiful. But then I noticed that there were only some trees. I knew that this was an example of deforestation caused by heavy urbanization. After that, I went home and researched more about this. I found out that the plastic I noticed earlier, clogging up the drainage pipes around the railway station, could actually stay there for eternity because plastics decay for a very long time. Or else, the plastic could actually go inside the drainage pipes and pollute the ocean. This happens because the drainage pipes are connected to the canals, which are connected to the ocean via the rivers. Thus, we are polluting the ocean. When you call in a plumber to unclog that pipe, they simply push the plastic in with a plunger. Thus, this also pollutes the ocean. The fish in the ocean mistake the plastic for sea plankton and eat it. Thus, they die because of food poisoning. The predators of the fish starve to death because they have no food. The predators of the predators of the fish starve to death. The entire ecosystem and the food chain around collapses. And when you throw plastic near some trees or in a forest, after a couple of months, it borrows itself underneath the mud because of natural forces and gets sandwiched between the lower and the upper layer of the mud. And if a tree is trying to grow its roots at that place, it cannot penetrate through the plastic and thus it dies. After realizing all of this, I took an oath to spread awareness about this information and to limit my plastic usage. And you should too. Now, I'm going to talk about how we all are contributing towards the dying of Mother Nature. The first one is deforestation. Deforestation is the cutting down of trees. Trees convert carbon dioxide into oxygen. Without trees, carbon dioxide levels will rise. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas, which are, is a greenhouse gases, which are carbon dioxide, methane, and nitrous oxides. Car greenhouse gases essentially, basically, trap heat inside the atmosphere. This, this is called global warming. And thus, the, pole, the, no, po the glaciers in the north and south poles melt. And the sea levels increase because of that, and the rain level will increase because of that. This is called climate change. 
and the second reason we should not cut trees is because trees are home to every species animals birds insects many species of them live there when we cut them down they go extinct or have to adapt to the new circumstances the third one is trees prevent soil erosion the trees as roots hold up the soil so that no no natural force could blow it over and erode it but without trees the soil would erode and becomes unfertile thus every no plants could be able to survive at that pace but we cannot wood leave it out wood can we so when you cut one tree down please plant for another and we can bring the miyawaki forest we can bring the miyawaki forest to stop soil erosion and and build a home for species and to stop pollution the second one is is fossil fuels fossil fuels are basically dead decayed animals and plants which are typically found in the fuel when we light them up they make a good fire fossil fuels also can be converted into energy fossil fuels can be converted into kerosene diesel petrol and even rocket fuel but the bad thing about them is is that it emits carbon dioxide which as we as i told you is a greenhouse gas and causes climate change and the bad thing about and the worst part about this is that there are millions of car vehicles which run on fossil fuels that are being used at this moment i am speaking cars buses scooters every vehicle planes rockets everyone uses this fuel i i advise every one of you every company to research alternate biofuels and to research alternate electric planes and electric vehicles and everyone to use electric cars and use solar energy wind energy and any renewable source for energy at their home the third one is burning firecrackers but when we burn firecrackers it makes a good noise and makes a colorful light in the sky right it is really good for our eyes right it removes our stress right but the bad thing about it that is that it contains chemicals which release nitrous oxides nitrous nitrous oxides not only cause climate change but also deplete the ozone layer ozone when the ozone layer gets punctured it, it is really bad for us we get pollution getting sent at us we get radiation getting sent at us so when you burn firecrackers please burn them for a limited amount of time and just burn some of them the fourth one is industries polluting the water industries like the tanning and the dyeing industry have many waste chemicals they don't have a place to put it in so they simply send it out in the rivers or water the living things in that inside that river die because the chemical kills them and the banks near the river also get affected because of it the chemicals make the soil infertile so i advise every industry owner to place a chemical treatment plant near the factories to treat their chemicals into less harmful ones and then send them into the water the fifth one the final one is meat industries and the meat consumption rate is going up fast because of fast food fast foods contain many non vegetarian right yes plus fossil plus fa- plus meat meat industry requires meat processing when we process meat it releases methane and other gases which are harmful methane is a is a greenhouse gas as i told you and thus it causes climate change and due to the growing consumption of meat m- millions of people are ordering food 
which are non vegetarian thus climate change gets increased and increased until the earth dies so i advise every one of you to be non vegetarian to be vegetarian for a uh, amount of time and to not eat meat during traveling because that's where you will be the most meat and that the end thank you everyone for giving me this opportunity from my knowledge i have shared almost everything i know i hope to see you in the next tedx talk goodbye